northerners are key players in Nigeria's petroleum industry's downstream sector. Akuna. The executive director of the authority newspaper, Chooks Akuna, has raised a vital or oh, he has raised vital questions regarding activities in the Nigerian petroleum industry. Speaking on AIT News, Chooks recalled what Muhammad Buhari said concerning fuel subsidies in 2014. Addressing the topic, he said, as a former petroleum minister, Muhammad Buhari had denied that the government was involved in petrol subsidy. You may recall that he made the claim during an interview in 2014, and he said whoever claims to be subsidizing petrol is a fraud. Wow, okay. I did not know where the subsidy is coming from. There's an interesting phenomenon. How come Northerners are the key players in the downstream sector of the Nigerian petroleum industry? I do not want to mention names, but the big oil marketing companies are nowhere to be found. However, new players have emerged since 2015 with mega petrol stations. Well, it's funny because, in fact, he just approved for a subsidy and, for, and he approved for the subsidy to only end next year um i think june yeah june 2023 literally so much time and even a, an extra month after he's left office imagine that imagine that so it's funny how like you know you go back to 2015 and i mean 2014 with the interview saying that anybody or whoever claims to be subsidizing petrol is a fraud or oh, really really and then you look at the deaths that nigeria has accumulated over the years i mean this is now the problem because it was on this ground, on this basis, that we chose APC. And if we're really going to be intentional as Nigerians on who we're going to pick, we can't use the same strategy as last time. Of course, the, at the end of the day, with any new person coming into office, you'd want them to do better than the last, of course. But in this case, the country just retrogressing. And yes, the basis on on the fact that Nigeria needs to be better should be a reason for us to choose a new person, a new presidential candidate. But also... We also have to make sure that accountability is in the system. As Shore said, we cannot be in a system that rewards impunity and corruption. It doesn't work like that. In this administration, so many individuals have gotten away with so much. And not to say that PDP or the past administrations have been squeaky clean, but there was an element of secrecy. In this case, it's like, yes, at least, you know, if anything, APC has helped us even open our eyes to see that, you know what, really, yes, we knew that they did not care, but they have just shown it to a different level where, I mean, look at the Lekki Massacre, the banning of Twitter, the paying. I mean, it was shocking. I mean, you would literally be like, wait, what? You have, you know, individuals, Sheikh Gumi, who's not even in government, became such a key role. And he was out here handing over words of cash to to gunmen and gunmen have come out and they've said you know what well we what did we do we bought more arms with the money that was given to us more kidnapped students and a lot of these things are happening in the north and you even have i mean abakari's case isa pantami i mean wait what i mean it's i can't it's too many things that have happened too too many things and now, I mean, Abba Kari's case was a big thing. And now it's now it's it's now hush-hush. And to think that Malami has come out for a different case where an individual in Nigeria has to be extradited to the US for a case. And, you know, he's given approval straight away. And we're like, excuse me, have we forgotten something? Because this looks very similar. And let's not even talk about IPOB and, and um, well, that's Enamdi Kano and, um, I forgot his name, the Yoruba activist. Sunday Boho and Brutai, oh my days, how all of a sudden Brutai retires and now he is what the ambassador to Benin Republic. Speaking of Benin Republic, even thinking of the transaction of of of, of what was it how, how much how much money to buy cars and then Benin Republic came out to say that excuse me, we did not receive anything. And in the case of Brutai being you know the ambassador, he and who else? He himself and another chief um security staff they were, i think they were being sued or yeah they were being taken to they were being on taken to trial or they are accused in front of the i c c of crimes against Nigerians and of course you know corruption in their office and guess what now happens because of course when Brutai became the ambassador. 
to be in republic it was very random i mean you want to retire right why are you giving this position not knowing that in that case he has immunity so of course being sued to the icc he now has immunity on, on any case being sued on him and you know it's what can you even say so so many things have happened if it starts in this state you'd get tired you literally would get tired and so you now have the i mean it's not surprising not surprising so if you know all these things and you still choose and you still feel apc is the best for you mm. and we should also not easily forget pdp as well again the whole reason as to why apc is there is because they didn't want pdp well the people do not want pdp so it's 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 a lot a lot of things have happened and yeah that's it oh well a comment has stated keep asking jump questions you have started campaigning for them again when it is obvious that they would steal all the resources hmm thanks for bringing up this issue it is amazing how those blessed naturally with the oil are now playing second or fourth second third or fourth fiddle in all aspects of the petroleum industry in nigeria and that obviously is a very 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 big issue but of course that also has to do with not just being in power so how are we then going to deal with that so really you know there's a lot that we need to ask there's a lot of the constitution is to i mean to, i don't even know what this constitution is it, what it is is a scam um you know approval of a lot of things and that's why you know as much as we want to just focus on the presidential seat we also have to understand that you know the governors house of representatives i mean these members i mean these people also make up the government a lot of decisions are run through them before things bills whatever would get approved so really there are a lot of questions to ask and a lot of people we need to be intentional with as much as we're intentional with who the president is and of course this administration or this constitution has given them so much power that's why we can be interested in that but also the individuals that you may think are not important but we're talking the governors you know labor party in itself have their candidates but they themselves also have to be a force within the 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 political field as well so there's so much to think about because really if you have just Peter be there and you don't have any Labour Party representatives, what would happen is he'd be wanting to make decisions. And of course, in spite, because of the PDP and APC, <laughs> you just find that there's always disagreements and nothing is ever, you know, the unanim unanimity. Is that even a word? That then is, you know, is threatened. Not that, obviously, you're talking about human beings. No one would agree on anything anyways. But really, that's that would be a main issue. But what you think about it is in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.